Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 370. That is, what is keyword driven testing? Let me answer. So what is keyword driven testing? Keyword driven testing is a test automation framework. Okay. If you till now, whatever the interview questions I explained, they all fall into the manual testing category where you don't use any automation tool. But here in keyword driven testing is nothing but a test automation framework. OK, this is a framework. So you may not understand what exactly is a framework now. OK, so it's a test automation framework. Instead of doing manually, we have to automate the scenarios and run them. OK, the automation tool will be running the automation scripts for running the for creating that automation. OK. Uh, for uh, for supplying the automation scripts to the automation tool, we need to follow different frameworks, guys. Okay, there are different type of frameworks like data-driven framework, keyword-driven framework, hybrid framework, and many design patterns are there. Many best practices are there. Okay, so automation tool is just a tool. Okay, we have to supply that automation tool with some automation scenarios. Okay, so. When you have five or six scenarios, doesn't matter. But when when the number of the count of automation scenarios increase, okay, increase to hundreds or thousands or whatever it is, if that is a very big complex project, if the number of automation scenarios that the automation tool has to rise, okay, when they rise, automatically we have to build a framework. Okay, without framework, things are not going to work. When there are many automation scripts, it's very uh, it's not so easy for us to manage so many automation scripts. Okay. So reusability, such kind of advantages we get by using this framework case. Okay. Framework is something like that. So one of the framework is keyword driven framework. Okay. So what is keyword driven testing? It's a test automation framework case. Okay. So we can also call this as keyword driven framework also. So for whom this keyword driven framework is designed, you see different frameworks have different purposes. Data driven framework has a different pur purpose. Keyword driven framework has a different purpose like that. Okay. Hybrid framework has a different purpose like that. Keyword driven framework also has a purpose. So this framework is created by technical people only. Okay. The people who are good in uh, programming languages and coding, right? They create this framework. Okay. They create uh, a project uh, in one of the uh, tools like Eclipse ID or uh, IntelliJ and uh, they structure. Okay. They put this. They put all the automations, uh, all, all automation tests, and they, they create a lot of packages. If you are into Java, you know about packages, okay? So they put uh, some uh, third-party methods somewhere, okay? Uh, they they integrate the process of uh, generating a report, okay? When all these automation scripts run, a report need to be generated where you can see all the results of the automation at a single place, okay? So a lot of things, guys, a lot of things, but. What about keyword driven framework? What is its ultimate purpose? It's though it is developed by the developed, created and automated by the technical people, but ultimately it is given to the non technical users. You see, there is a company A. Let's say there is a company A guys. Okay, this is company A. Company A. And in this company, there are a lot of people guys. Okay, a lot of non technical. Okay, these people doesn't have any programming knowledge or they are not that doesn't belong to the you know they don't have any programming knowledge simple words okay and there is another company guys company b this company b has technical people technical people who can create the frameworks like keyword driven framework data driven framework hybrid framework okay which help in solving the automation problem okay man instead of uh, you as a person doing the automation the tool has to do that uh, tool has to perform testing for that automation scripts are required for that some people have to write the automation code in some programming languages like Java Python or something. Okay, and also they have to create a framework, but these people are non technical people. So they cannot they don't have any programming knowledge, so they cannot write any automation scripts. They also don't know how to create a framework, but this company B people are technical so that they created a framework. They have automated all the automation scripts and now. These people are so non technical that they don't even understand how to run the automation scripts. Even though these people have created a framework, they created automation scripts. Still, if you provide this non technical people and tell them, give a demo and tell them how to run, okay, they feel very difficult because these people are non technical people, but they are very good in other areas. Okay, doesn't mean that they are bad. They're good in very other areas, like they have very good business knowledge or whatever it is. They are, they, they are for their purpose. 
but technical wise they are zero this situation came what this technical people will do is they will create a framework known as keyword driven framework keyword driven framework they will create so what they will do is so you see in eclipse idea or something the project will be there all the technical language and everything will be there all the automation scripts will be there on the top of that they will create an excel file okay they will connect this excel file with this automation okay automation uh, project so in this excel file in this excel file they will provide something like this one two three and whatever you take here login okay they will give a keyword known as login so this login keyword these people can understand right so if if these people want to automate uh, run the automation scripts related to login they will simply provide login here okay login and provide yes yes option y option here okay the moment y is there and login beside uh, login y is there you see what happens is via this excel sheet the automation scripts are running here they are not worried about what programming language the uh, the technical people have used what framework they have written Th these non technical people simply will look into this excel sheet where lot of keywords will be provided and using these keywords they can build some automation scenarios also okay here who is writing the automation scripts even non technical people also are writing the automation scripts but not using any programming language rather this non technical people are using this keywords provided by this technical people in an excel sheet by combining this keywords they are able to run the automation scripts in whatever the business knowledge they have okay so because they are good at business knowledge they they want to combine all the different keywords and run an automation script like that okay so this is what is a keyword driven framework guys okay so not technical people will create a framework known as keyword driven framework and they will provide an excel sheet attached to this framework with the non technical people non technical people will not look into the project rather they will look into the excel sheet where a list of keywords are provided by playing with the keywords they are going to run the automation scripts okay or create new automation scripts also okay so this is how this is how keyword driven framework helps the non technical people into automation get into automation okay because they have very good business knowledge they uh, they they don't have technical skills that's the only thing okay this if if in uh, if uh, this particular kind of testing i mean if this kind of framework is being used by non technical people to run the automation scripts that testing is called as keyword driven testing okay it is an automation testing only but keyword driven automation testing okay which is possible with the help of automation keyword driven automation framework which is created by the technical people okay so hope guys you understood what is keyword driven testing in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye